What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we took a huge tour of the Battle Resort, or Battle Frontier, whatever it's called. And now, we're, we finally figured out what we're going to be doing in this episode, and yes, we are going to be going back into the uh, SS title, because apparently there is a... I think you can do something right there, which is pretty nifty. <laughs> So all we gotta do now is just go back to Slateport City. You can go to Slateport or Lily Cove and, you know, either way, you're gonna get something out of it. So, here we are, going into Mega Evolutionary form right here. And we're just gonna be backing it up, looking at, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Looking at Route 110, it's great. Look at that, we're backing it up, backing it up. And here we are, Slateport City. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so, let's see, this is what, the third episode back in Pokemon Omega Ruby, and trust me guys, we got a lot of episodes to cover because we got legendaries to capture too. That won't be until a little bit later on, but let's complete some stuff that we have yet to cover, such as the SS title. Let's see, now, we already went to the Battle Resort, now if you go right here and talk to this lady, she is going to ask you where do you want to go after you show her the, the ticket. And, of course, you got Lily Cove, Battle Resort, or Slateport if you're at Lily Cove. What I'm going to do right here is go into Lily Cove City. And, yes, we're going to be broadening our horizons right here. And, uh, let's see, what does this happen? So, as you can see, we hope you enjoy your voyage right here. So, you get to battle as many Pokemon, uh, Pokemon trainers as possible in here. And, uh, well, that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to be checking out uh, the rooms and all that crud. Uh, just like in Pokemon oh, um, Ruby, Sapphire, and, and Emerald, you can come in here and battle everybody, get some items and all that stuff. Um, I did change up my team just a tad bit just because, you know what, I kind of want to use some other Pokemon right here since we've already completed some of the the, the, the awesome, uh, whatchamacallit, events and all that crud. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Are your friends strong? Probably. Do I have any friends? Maybe. I don't know. So here we go. Take it on Gentleman Tucker. He is coming with his Rapidash right here. Look at that. Rapidash is looking like a majestic unicorn with flames and all that stuff. And yes, we are at the right level. So yes, I did switch up my Pokemon just a tad bit because I kind of wanted a little bit of the challenge. That and uh, well, these are some of the Pokemon that I've used in Pokemon Emerald. Claymore is one of them. Would have been on my team if I had not switched him for somebody else. If I completely, I forgot who who, I, who it was that I, I switched it with. But as you can see, that's right. Claymore is still kicking some butt. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so he's gonna come out with a Zip Striker. I'm just gonna stay put and kick some butt right here. So any of you guys. We are close to the very, very end of this whole walkthrough right here. Yes, I took a nice, well, let's see, August, September, October, um, and by the time this drops, it's November, so let's just say, uh, let's just say three and a half months, or three, close to three months and all that stuff, and, uh, well, let's see, took some time off just to do some other Pokemon walkthroughs and all that stuff, and it was a success. I haven't forgotten about this. This is all part of the plan of, uh, you know, my small break from adventures and all that crud. Uh, I still got, I still have a lot to do in Pokemon X. Well, not a lot. And, uh, what else? There's some other games too. I kind of, I am going to be showing some legendary Pokemon that I have yet to show, such as, uh, the event Pokemon in Emerald, event Pokemon in Platinum, and, uh, I think there's some event Pokemon in Black, so... These are all cheat games or cheat uh, cheat events that I can that I'm actually going to show you guys since yeah we don't we can't use the events anymore and all those cheats are going to help us for those particular reasons and all that stuff. Now right here, yes, we're going to be capturing some legendary Pokemon. We're going to struggle a little. You're going to be seeing good old Draven just cuss a storm because yeah, some of these legendary Pokemon are annoying. Now another plan is that. Uh, I believe there may be one or two legendary Pokemon in this game where, you know, they come out at a specific hour, so I am going to probably do a... It all depends on what time I'm here at home recording episodes. If I'm not here at home, then it's going to be postcom. probably one of the only few postcoms you're going to be seeing right here on my walkthrough. Now, as you can see, he's got himself a decorated for Fro. Look at that Pokemon. Of course, you can get this guy in uh, Pokemon X and all that stuff. And I just remembered one big thing about uh, 
One big thing about this walk in all the Pokemon that I've actually gotten, I actually made, I actually did, uh, what, what did I do? I actually did uh, bring over some Pokemon from my Pokemon box just to try and complete this Pokedex right here. Uh, normally when I'm playing this, not as a walkthrough, just as, you know, as a re everyday thing, I tend to go a little bit overboard with capturing Pokemon, breeding Pokemon, making extra breed Pokemon so I can, you know, transfer them to other games. And, uh, well, that's probably what I'm going to be doing right here. I'm just going to be evolving as many Pokemon as possible, filling up my Pokedex, and seeing where it takes me. I don't know. I have yet to do that in any of my games right here. So, let's go with the Moon Blast right here for Frown. You're about to get for Frown. And look at that. For Frown defeated. So just a little bit of a challenge right there. Look at that. Gaia grows levels and Fluff Blade grows to level 45. Claymore, of course, grows to level 43. And Rich Boy Garrett is going to give us a nice amount of money. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see what's in this. And uh, nothing. Okay. So let's move on right here. Let's see. What else can we find into this place? I don't even know. Really, really don't know. Now, again, I am using my wireless capture card. Why? Again, if it's not broken, don't fix it. That wireless capture card is going to be used for Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. Now, if you can see right here, but I thank you for coming along. Brainy, it's, a, it's like a good old days. Having you guide uh, the rudder again after all this time. And it's great to see Pico again, too. Pee, pee. Oh, <laughs> Look uh, how thrilled Pico is to see her good old uh, her good old pal Drake, but no need to keep him going on about it, mind you. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, it's a sort of crossing to so drink it uh, all, all in, eh? Well then, I'll see you later on. Full speed ahead, Briny. Aye aye, old friend. Full speed ahead. Huh, well, apparently they're good old friends and all that crud. Now, if you guys remember, Mr. Briny, we did help him out a while back, and uh, welcome aboard, Draven. They made me honorary captain of the of this here SS title. You can call me Captain Briny for now on. You know, I retired once before, but I, then when I saw this fine ship launched, let let me say I stirred it stirred up my old sailor soul. I it did. Okay, alrighty. So uh, let us. Uh, well, we're just gonna keep on battling everybody. And uh, yeah, that actually did have a door. And yeah, we're gonna be finding a lot of trainers right here, guys. Lots and lots of trainers, and I am not going to be switching out because, well, this is probably... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he's not a trainer. Oh, hi. Hey, I'm not acting suspicious. Oh, you can have this for free. It, honestly, it's an unlicensed item that's been embargoed or anything. It's totally legal, you see. Use it. And here we have the TM-63 embargo. And, uh, well, that's a, that's a pretty good item right there. I'm hoping the next guy would actually battle me. All right, let's see what this guy has to say. All right, he's got a nice uh, do uh, look in right here. And child, did you knock the door? Not really. I just walked in because you know I'm the mother loving champion right here. So here we have gentleman Thomas wants to come out with the breviary, and uh, there's nothing more American than breviary. Look at that. Do I have any move to beat it? No, I don't. So I'm gonna have to switch out my Pokemon right here. So yeah, guys, like what I was saying, I uh, yeah, I got lots of plans. Lots of videos to cover uh, from here, from right now, which I'm kind of recording uh, uh, October 27th all the way to December 19th. And if you guys don't remember, that is the anniversary of this here channel. When, uh, you know, you know, when I started it as Draven in XC711. And uh, for those who have been with me for a very, 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 very long time, you guys may have remembered that I did have quite more episodes, more you know, walkthroughs than this, and I did delete them because, you know, I made a change. Huge change, and, uh, well, I, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, it's probably the best thing that could ever happen to me, because at least, and that humbled me a little by making this, by making my walkthroughs, my newer walkthroughs the best I can, and, yeah, even though it prolonged a whole bunch of, like, other new walkthroughs, it, it backed me up a lot. Uh, I can say that I do not regret doing it, because, you know, I've done these walkthroughs with a little bit more conviction and all that stuff, just to inform you guys how to play these games and stuff. Been getting a lot of good comments, so I thank you guys, and uh, it's gonna continue uh, continue on like this. 
Uh, if you guys don't know, the next walkthrough on my list is going to be Pokemon Sun and Moon. Don't know which one yet. And let's see, can we battle her? Oh, you're such an adorable trainer! Would you like to have a tea? Or would you rather battle? Can I have both? <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh... Yeah, the, the, the response has been better. As of right now, we got 200 subscribers uh, left into our little 8,000 subscribers uh, campaign. And this is going to be big, too, because in one year, we managed to get 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, buddy. And, you know, even though I kind of wanted it to be at, like, 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, I don't think it's going to happen because it's probably, like, a month and a half when this thing drops. And, uh, well, that could always be a goal for 2021. And uh, hopefully that does happen because, you know what, uh, uh, again, progress. The progression from Draven XC711 to Gym Leader Draven has been an absolute success. So again, thank you guys for keeping up with me and subscribing and all that stuff. And Crab Baskets, Flood, Flood Blade is getting his butt kicked right now. And look at that, Persian has been defeated. See, this is why I bring you guys up right here. Just to get more experience, like I never battle you guys anymore. Huh. Okay, so... Let's see, what's another thing too? Now, I'm also stocking up on videos too, because... Well, I just got the word from the office. The office being the football office that football practice has uh, is about to start. So, yeah, my time is going to be taken away just a little bit now. I believe this is my room right here. And if you go to the bed, it will actually land us to the next uh, the next city. So that's going to be saved up for later. Let's just go ahead and battle everybody. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, I did get a call from the football office. And it looks like that, you know, football seasons go. Now, of course, I do live in California. So technically, we don't have any activities in football right now. We, we can only play in uh, January. So yeah, that was my thing. Now, normally right now, I would be split my time between football, training people, and this, and uh, I think one positive thing that came out of this whole pandemic was that it gave me a little more time to come out with more videos for you guys. The only problem is it's getting me all antsy for football because here I am watching it on TV with college and professionals and in other high schools and other states and here I am like a bonehead, you know watching from the sidelines and you know normally right now I would be in a football season like right now we'd be done with the regular season and we'd be going into playoffs winning another championship yes I do I am feeling a little spoiled after winning three straight so yeah got the got the word from the office so that means that you know even though I'm stockpiling on these these kinds of uh, walkthrough videos it's enough walkthrough videos to actually you know showcase right here on my channel without worrying that you know I need to record some more so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna continue with desert storm right here look at this guy he's looking all mean and everything let's go with another earthquake finish this guy off now let's see what else what else is that hmm. yeah December 19th guys 10 year anniversary 10 year anniversary and the plan is this I will be opening up my Pokemon Sun and Moon walkthrough, and uh, it might be 10 episodes. The reason why I say it might be, because I'm kind of feeling like we should come out with 20, or 30. I don't know, it could be done. I've gotten a good lay of the land, and I'm feeling very, very sure that I can, I can do 20 to 30 episodes. It's just going to take a full weekend to just do all that, so... Yeah. Anywho, let's battle these guys. It's a bit embarrassing, but we'll show you their crazy and low power. It's not really embarrassing. I mean, shoot. You got somebody that loves you, so let's go ahead and lose together, right? <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, guys, that is probably the goal. I kind of want to upload at least 20 episodes of, uh, of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like I said in previous episodes, uh, if you guys want to vote on my starter and on the game, it's right there on my community page. Uh, so far, from what it's looking like, uh, many people are wanting the water type uh, Pokemon. So, I don't know. Who, if you guys want the water type Pokemon, go right ahead. But if you guys want to see like the fire type or the grass type Pokemon, then shoot, it's all up to you guys. I did... Uh, I did uh, bypass you guys voting on my X uh, starter because of Liquid Crystal, so this is a chance for you guys to pick the game and pick the Pokemon and all that stuff. 
And, uh, oh, look at that. He's got a Zen headbutt. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use an Ice Beam on Tauros. And let's finish this guy off a little bit of, uh, of a Leaf Blade right there. Look at that. Leaf Blade. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Look at that. And the couple has been defeated. So, let's see. What else? I think we've already defeated everybody right here. There's a few stairs left. Let's see. Um, oh, we already beat this guy. So, let's move on. And let's go outside and see what this is all looking like. Look at this. Look at that. It just looks beautiful. And uh, we already know what that looks like. Okay, so... Here we have another Mega Stone, and this one happens to be the Blastoiseite. Blastoiseite. Blastoiseite, yes. We do have a Blastoise. And. Well. We do have a Blastoise, and yeah, I do I do remember something, guys. We need to update our teams right here, too, because uh, we kind of finished another Walker right there. And let's see. It was a big Whale Lord breaching uh, just now. Oh, by the way, breaching is what you call it when a whale lord and a whalemer jumps as a as high as it can for everyone on the ship. Huh, that is cool. And let's see what this guy has to say. There's a weird old guy in the front of the bow. He's not weird. I already know who that is. Glug. Could you scoot over a bit more? You did say you wanted to sit next to the deck. Okay. So we got the blastocyte. And uh, what is this? It's a Pokemon. I don't know which one it, it does. What does it look like? I don't even know what Pokemon that is. Such an elegant moment as I gaze upon the interminable sea. My slack off is pleased uh, too. So I, I'm, I'm glad that I brought it along. Okay. So we already know who this guy is. We defeated him in the Pokemon League. Uh, and he's like, oh, it's you. How about it? How's the old SS title treating you? I can tell from the sea breeze on my skin that my old friend has got has got it. Has still got it. Oh wow. So that is Drake, the Elite Four member. Not the champion, not the leader. I uh, never say it's a leader, but that is pretty cool right there that he's just taking the load off from his uh, you know, Pokemon uh Pokemon uh league challenges and all that stuff. Now here we are in the poop deck. That's right guys, the poop deck. And well, let's see. We gotta switch up our Pokemon right here. Let's go back to Desert Storm because yeah, he, he, he needs some Pokemon battles right here. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, it's a local kid. Hello, me from Unova region. Me no talk pity. Pretty, you understand? Yes. Whoa, you understand me talk? Me so happy, so relief. Very, very happy feeling. So I give, I give you this. Two tick. And we get ourselves the sharp beak. This guy's from Unova? It is sharp beak you give to flying Pokemon. I wish I sharp beak like beak, then I learned this regional's language quick. I ain't not so sharp self, but learning new language really fun. Yes! Now, I'm assuming that this is the guy that was from Team Rocket back at Johto. Eventually, he moved to Unova. I believe that we've seen him in the in our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And, uh, well, there's these two guys running around. I'm assuming that there's some items around here. And, uh, well, let's see. Yes, there is an item. And that is the leftovers. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle everybody right now. Alrighty. So, let's see. There is something else right here. Now, coming back to Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby, it kind of just, it, it just like, you know, it kind of, it, it's kind of making me, like, realize that, man, I really progressed a lot outside of Pokemon Omega Ruby because, uh, believe it or not, guys, uh, I stopped playing Pokemon games at Omega Ruby because I was more focused on what I was doing outside of the Pokemon YouTube realm. That's why it's been so late for me to come into Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun, and Sword and Shield. But as soon as I started playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, yeah, Let's Go Pikachu, it, it right there, it, it just like, it made me see that the importance of other moves, some moves that I have yet to see and all that stuff, and it's got me excited for the next one, the, the following walkthrough, the walkthrough that we were supposed to go to since we didn't have no, co uh, uh, what was it, wired capture card, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, which by the way, I am currently playing, I got into the, that Tundra thing, yeah, it's pretty fun guys, I'm excited, I'm very, very excited for what's next, 
It's just we gotta complete these walkthroughs. And yes, guys, yes, I am gonna play Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon eventually. It's just we gotta go with our main games. We have to, because I don't know how much time we have left like this in this free time in order to get more walkthroughs out. I don't even think that the following year we're gonna be uh, coming out with as many walkthroughs as we did this year. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, we defeat this guy, and I believe that other guy is his big bro, so let's go ahead and beat big bro right here. Where are you going, A-U-S-O-B? Come on, stop. Alright, I'm fed up with the law, dog tired of cleaning this huge place. Let's have a quick battle. The poop deck. Alrighty, so here we go, another uh, sailor, his name is Philip. He's coming out with a quillfish, and I'm uh, just a, uh, you know, desert storm right here. So yeah, guys, you know, it's going to be a fun, fun time going into the next few walkthroughs. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. And, uh, well, even though we all want this pandemic to end, I can say that, you know, the best thing that can ever happen to us was that it gave us more time to reflect upon a lot of stuff. You know, family, friends, priorities, uh, hobbies, and all that stuff. It gave me much more of a reason right here in 2020 so I, mean, I guess you could say 2020 wasn't all that bad what cross chop doesn't miss what the hell so we got our butts kicked by cross chop but here we go with the fly attack and uh, oh wow really wow it survived okay I will avenge you let's go with fluff blade right here hopefully we're faster than this guy hmm let's see your lace, and yes, we are faster than you. Look at that. Say goodbye, Machamp. Hmm. Look at that, and uh, oh, Fluff Blade grows to level 47, and uh, there goes our Pokemon, and Gaia the Fierce Knight grows to level 69, which is also great. Okay, so I think that's that for all the trainers right here, and this is what you can actually find in the SS title. Um, let's see. Uh, talk to this guy. It'll be some time, so we'll make landfall. Okay, so we gotta go to cabin number two. Let's see. This is what? Cabin four. Cabin three. And this one, two. Okay, so after you defeat all the trainers, just make sure to go to the bed. Take a nice break. And look at that. Everybody's healed. And... Okay, nothing else happened. I thought that we were gonna actually get, like, you know... A ding dong. Oh wait, there it is, ding dong. We will be landing in Lily Cove City shortly. Thank you for sailing with us. When you get off the ferry, please speak to the crew at the entrance. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. So that was the episode right here with uh, the SS title and uh, all its glory right here. And uh, look at that. So let's go ahead and talk to the person. Uh, well, talk to the people right here. Okay, what if we talk to her? Let's see. Uh, okay, and no, I don't want to go anywhere else. Okay, fine, talk to this guy right here. And finally, an operation to folks at a shipyard where decks are hard, and now it's okay, never mind. I thought they were gonna give me something. Now, somebody right here is asking me to trade him or battle him, which uh, I kind of probably won't be doing. Not on screen or all that stuff, because I don't want to get embarrassed. I really don't. Anywho, guys, that is this uh, episode right here of the SS title. In the next one, I would like to say that we're going to be going to see Mauville, and we're just going to be exploring the place, taking a look at its mysteries and all that stuff, and then from there, we're going to be going legendary hunting, starting with the legendary, uh, what was it, what was it? The, 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 the steel, ice, rock trio, what was it called again? The, 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 the power trio, I think that's what it was called. I don't even know, guys, it's been a while. Thank you guys again for watching this episode. Stay safe and stay positive out there, guys. I'll see you guys next time.